Hello, I'm Svetlin Naku from Softuni Global, and I'm here again for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. This is one uh, episode which is all about the browser dev tools and how to use them to your best advantage. Together, we'll explore the functionalities of the network inspector in the web browser, and uh, you will see how to use the network inspector from a developer perspective. I will also show another helpful tool, which is called Postman, and it is a great app for sending HTTP requests and analyzing the HTTP responses. If you enjoy my content, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, let's get into the lesson. Now let's go into more technical detail about the HTTP protocol. I will introduce you some tools which software developers constantly use when developing software communicating via the HTTP protocol. The network monitoring tool built in the modern web browsers which allow inspecting the HTTP traffic. And the Postman HTTP client tool which allows to compose and send HTTP requests and to analyze the HTTP responses. Modern web browsers such as Chrome and Firefox have built-in tools for network monitoring and inspecting the HTTP traffic. To show the Chrome developer tools, press the F12 key in the Google Chrome or right-click in a web page and click Inspect in the context menu. This is how to do it. Right-click with the mouse and choose Inspect. You will see the Chrome DevTools window, uh, which has many tabs. From the Elements tab, you can inspect the UI controls on the web page, the so-called DOM tree. This is the DOM tree. From the Console tab, you can see the errors and works for the currently loaded web page, and you can execute JavaScript commands. Let's type a comment. Console.walk from new date bracket, closing bracket, closing bracket, enter. And this is the result. From the network tab, which is the most interesting regarding the HTTP protocol, you can view and inspect the HTTP traffic between the currently open web page. Uh, and the web servers to which the page communicates. Now we click uh, a link in the web page and the browser will load sequence of HTTP requests. These are the HTTP requests executed as a result of this click. We have many requests in the list and we can inspect each of them. You can click on certain requests to view the details about it. The HTTP uh, request URL, the request method, the remote server IP address and port, uh, the request headers, um, such as the host header, uh, for example, the request body, which is uh, empty forget requests, the response status code 200 OK, the response headers uh, such as the content type header, the response body uh, which holds the requested uh, resource, in our case an HTML document, uh, and we can see many other technical um, details. This network inspector tool uh, is constantly used by developers when they want to debug a web app and its communication with the web server. I'm sure you will love it and when you start communicating, com uh, developing web apps. Let me show you another useful tool for developers who deal with the HTTP protocol, the Postman HTTP client. Postman is an HTTP client tool for developers. Web developers use it for composing and sending HTTP requests and analyzing the HTTP response from the server. 
for testing, for debugging server APIs, for researching how to use certain service API, and for resolving technical issues during the software development. With Postman, you can create an HTTP request, send it to the web server, view the HTTP response, and generate a source code to execute the HTTP request in many languages, such as JavaScript, C Sharp, Java, Python, PHP, and many others. Now let's see an example with Postman. Uh, we can send an HTTP request to retrieve the issue number one from the ASP.NET Core project at GitHub using the GitHub API, which is accessible via the HTTP protocol. We create a new request uh, and name it get GitHub issue. And uh, we save the request in Postman and uh, we choose HTTP method guest for this request. Uh, and we enter the following URL for the HTTP request. HTTPS, comma, slash, slash, api.github.com, slash, repo, slash, .net, slash, ASP.net, core, slash, issues, slash, one. Uh, and we click the send button. It, and the, the web server at api.github.com response with a long JSON object uh, holding a detailed information about the requested issue. We can view the code example uh, for sending this HTTP request in JavaScript, C Sharp, Java or other uh, programming language. Uh, we open the generate code snippet uh, dialog window by clicking on the code button and we select HTTP to see the HTTP request. We can select JavaScript fetch uh, to see how to invoke this request from um, JavaScript client side JS application running in the web browser. We can also select uh, Java to see a, a sample Java code for invoking the same request from Java. You can play more with Postman uh, and uh, during the exercise and homework uh, sessions and I hope you will like it. I'm sure you will find with ease how to install the Postman client on your computer. Um, and in case you want to explore more HTTP tools, I could recommend this. Insomnia Core REST Client. It is a client HTTP tool for developers uh, like Postman. Uh, also, Postwoman. <laughs> it's a web-based Postman-like HTTP client tool running directly from the web without installation. <laughs> Did you notice the T's in the name? It's not a Postman, it's a Postwoman. You can play with it at postwoman.io. Um, this is the tool. We can click the send button and we see the response here. Hey, did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the Werner's community at softunit.org and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free videos, tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software developments and others. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers and wannabe developers. Get help from mentors and meet other learners in our online community. And it's all free. Yes, it's free for everyone. So join now at softuni.org. Meanwhile, you can check out my other videos from the Dev Concept series and from the Code Lessons series, where I explain and demonstrate with many cons, uh, with many examples and hands-on exercises, some concepts and technologies and techniques from the software development profession. Also, you can type in in the comments if you want some topic to see uh, in my next videos. So that's all for now. Goodbye and see you in my next video.